Hey everyone! It's finally summer in London, and the hot, sunny weather puts a smile on my face. This is me going to the grocery store. This is me waiting for the bus. This is me stopping to smell the roses. And this is, gratefully, ice cream weather. I want to talk about sundaes, specifically how to make the perfect ice cream sundae. My strategy and my perfect ice cream theory comes from Jenny Britton Bauer of Jenny Splendid Ice Creams. I interviewed her about five years ago when I worked at Now This News. You're going to show us how to make the perfect ice cream sundae. In order to make the perfect ice cream sundae, you'll need four things. First, obviously, you need ice cream. And then three different components. Add a sauce. Something crunchy as garnish topped with whipped cream. It's about temperature, it's about texture, it's about all these different things in one spoonful. Let me show you my newest creation. For my base layer, I'm going with salted caramel ice cream as a hat tip to Jenny's best-selling flavor. But for the rest of the ingredients, I'm going full British. Gotta show the pride. Rather than whipped cream, I'll do clotted cream, which can best be described as whipped cream meets butter. It's typically eaten with scones, but let's try it on a sundae. I mean, I've seen this as a dessert itself. I saw a recipe online that the BBC posted that was just clotted cream and berries. So if you can swap out clotted cream for whipped cream there, let's try it here. But if you're using whipped cream, you'll prep that first. Now I've showed you how to make whipped cream before. I like the handy jar and shake trick. Simply using heavy whipping cream, some sugar, and maybe a bit of vanilla extract, then shake. For the sauce, I widened my periscope to all of Europe, and I'm doing Nutella. I've warmed it first, so it's extra easy to drizzle. And for the crunch, this popcorn got my eye at the grocery store because it just screamed British to me. Popcorn done properly. Proper, proper. No, yeah, I should never do accents. And I'm gonna add one more item on top of Jenny's four must-haves. I'm doing fresh fruit. Mmm. Oh man. We've got sweet and salty. We've got smooth and crunchy. We've got warm and cool. Mmm. Oh yeah. To be perfectly honest, I could do without the clotted cream on this. Did I just totally blow my non-Britishness? I mean, it's not bad, but just saying. What do you think this should be named? Let me know if you think of a good one. Pop it in the comments below. And what flavors and ingredients would you use to make the perfect sundae? Please leave a comment. I would love to hear and try your way. Here's what Jenny named the perfect sundae that we made. We have try to come it. up with a name. Oh yeah, okay. The Salty Quinn. The Salty Quinn. That's kind of fun. That is fun. <laughs> All right. You know what I say. I say keep it quirky. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All right, I gotta go get married. I'll catch you guys back here soon. Peace.